I'm Rob Whitfield with the Orange County Register and welcome to OCN2 for Tuesday, June 9th. Health officials said Monday that a middle-aged man with prior medical conditions has become the first Orange County resident to die of swine flu, or the H1N1 virus, the fourth swine flu-related death in California. According to the county's health care agency, Orange County has 78 confirmed cases and eight probable cases. The man's name, age, and city of residence were not released. Monday, the attorney for Andrew Thomas Gallo, the San Gabriel man charged with three counts of murder stemming from the alcohol-related crash that killed an Angels pitcher and two others, said his client cannot get a fair trial in Orange County. Defense attorney Randall T. Longwith said he will prepare and file a motion for a change of venue soon. Deputy District Attorney Susan Price said she will oppose transferring Gallo's trial, adding she will try to get the case to trial within six months. Meanwhile, Gallo pleaded not guilty at his arraignment to a grand jury indictment, charging him with three counts of second-degree murder and other charges connected to the April 9th crash in Fullerton. Gallo could get 54 years, eight months in prison if convicted. A Ladera Ranch man is back in jail after a second attack in several weeks has left a woman with severe head trauma. Orange County Sheriff's deputies responded to frantic 911 calls Monday morning and arrived to find 44-year-old Mark Jurassic being held by neighbors after what appears to be a domestic dispute between a live-in boyfriend and girlfriend. One neighbor said she witnessed no argument before the attack occurred at a cluster of mailboxes in front of her house. The neighbor said Jurassic rushed over and started pummeling the victim. The woman was rushed to Mission Hospital with severe head trauma. Jurassic was arrested on suspicion of attempted murder, booked into Orange County Jail, and is being held without bail. Jurassic was suspected of attacking the same woman several weeks before. At the time of yesterday's attack, Jurassic was out on bail after pleading not guilty to those charges. A Senna and a gang member will serve life in prison without the chance of parole for the killings of two rival gang members. 24-year-old Norberto Hernandez was convicted in March of the deaths of 14-year-old Angel Secondido and 15-year-old Gabriel Perez in December of 2006. Prosecutors said Hernandez was riding in a car with fellow gang members when the group came across the two boys and shot them. Four other gang members await trial in the case. The county's transportation agency will cut 104,000 service hours a year from public buses starting in September, following a drastic loss in sales tax revenue and state funding. And the board also asked its staff to return in 30 days, with plans to cut an additional 300,000 service hours. Right now, the OCTA operates 1.7 million hours of bus service a year. And you can read more about all of these stories and get your breaking news all day at OCRegister.com.